What you guys do, I need Windows updates. This is something I see quite a lot when people tell people to turn off Windows updates and they don't need them. Well, you do need Windows updates and it's very important uh, to make sure Windows is kept updated at all times. Now you don't have to update as soon as Microsoft release them, but it's important that you do keep your Windows operating system updated. Now, some people will swear by uh, turning off Windows updates uh, because it breaks their system or because they don't think they need them. And uh, the latest Windows security patches will fix a lot of vulnerabilities and error codes inside Windows. And these are associated with software and they also uh, add new features to Windows as well. So what is the uh, potential consequences for not installing security updates? Well, you can end up with damaged software, loss of data due to, say, ransomware or identity theft. And every year, malware causes damages to millions of computers worldwide. Now, by not updating your operating system, you're basically leaving your system vulnerable uh, to, you know, malware and other malicious exploits that will be uh, in the operating system itself. So not installing critical updates or uh, security updates and things like this on a regular basis, it does leave your system vulnerable to these. And these will be uh, massive uh, vulnerabilities uh, to the actual operating system. These could be cr critical updates, security updates, and you still also get service packs. And we used to also get non-critical updates and our monthly uh, roll-ups. But things have changed a little bit with Windows 11, but you still need to be uh, on the ball when you're uh, using your computer. You still need to keep the system updated to fix any bugs or any sort of, uh, you know, major security flaws with the actual, actual operating system itself. And if you've got the security updates blocked, then that leaves you uh, potentially vulnerable. And you've only got to look at the extensive list of security updates and what they are patching uh, all the time for Microsoft. You've got the actual browser itself. You've got the software updates that are released by the software companies. And then you've also got Microsoft releasing uh, Windows updates as well, which fix security vulnerabilities, which are found by security uh, engineers that actually find, uh, you know, bad code inside the operating system, which can be exploited uh, especially the kernel and things like that. And this is not just Microsoft uh, problem with, for Windows. It also affects, you know, Apple products and also Linux itself. So you just have to uh, remember that this is a global problem. Uh, cyber criminals are looking for exploits all the time. And if they're not patched, that means you are vulnerable. Now, you may be thinking, I don't need to worry about security updates because I have an antivirus program and this will protect me. But sometimes that's not the case. Zero day malware can attack the system and it can also uh, attack the browser. And if you've not got any updates on the system, it will just let that right through and infect the system. And again, if it's ransomware, you can end up with major data loss to, uh, due to uh, encryption of all your data and being helped to ransom by these cyber criminals. And it basically takes just one click and one mistake and you could be uh, downloading and opening up uh, a payload of some sort of ransomware which can basically just bypass your antivirus program and infect your system and encrypt all your data. So those people that say they don't need an antivirus program or they don't need security updates because they're clever enough to... Uh, avoid these sort of infections then they are talking rubbish and being absolute foolish and if they're spreading that information on the internet then obviously they don't know what they're talking about now over the years i've seen quite a few people that will make videos uh, just for clickbait titles and to get uh, views and they will be talking about disabling uh, antivirus programs and also uh, removing antivirus programs from the system and disabling Windows updates because they get better performance on their computer. And they're saying you don't really need it when really you actually do. So if you see the amount of updates Windows 11 is receiving and Windows 10, you can imagine 
Now, what Windows XP and Windows 7 is like without receiving any of these security updates, there will just be major uh, security flaws in that operating system. And of course, people are still using it today. Now, you're going to get people saying that they've had no issues still using it, and they're one of the lucky ones. Now, it happened in the UK when the NHS got hit with a ransomware, and they were using old operating systems that weren't receiving updates. And of course, it let the ransomware right through and it attacked uh, the network system of the NHS and, of course, encrypt all of the data on those computers. Now, as a user, you would never leave your home with the front door open and also leave the windows wide open while you go to work because you would be leaving yourself vulnerable to having your house robbed. That's exactly how stupid it is when people don't have an antivirus program and don't receive windows updates at all and they think they're clever enough not to fall foul to attack or fall foul to ransomware and things like that because they're clever enough not to click on things but unfortunately it's not that simple so basically you do need to have security updates from microsoft now people get confused with security updates and feature updates feature updates are new features that are added to Windows and they also add in some other things there. But mainly your security updates are what are keeping your system uh, patched and safe and secure. It fixes any bugs and things like that. So just bear that in mind. There is a big difference. And I think I read a comment from someone the other day saying they don't have antivirus program and they don't update their operating system at all and they're completely safe. And uh, it just begs belief that people walk around believing that. So stop doing that sort of thing and uh, get your system updated on a regular basis. You can hold off of updates for a period of time. You know, a few weeks is not going to hurt. Uh, but at the end of the day, you do need to keep your uh, system updated and make sure you're using some of the latest builds out there because they are the latest secure um, builds from Microsoft. If you're using one that's not receiving updates anymore, then you may need to uh, address that problem as soon as possible. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. So the short answer is, yes, you do need to update your operating system. My name has been Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. I know the audio sounds a little bit more rough on these videos, and that's because I am having to make do with a different microphone why my office is getting uh, redecorated so just bear with me and uh, you'll probably see there's no outro on some of these videos but that's just the way it's got to be uh, as of uh, today and for the next week or so I should be back up and running uh, very soon anyway that's enough of this one I shall catch you in the next video bye for now